As humans, we have an innate need for touch, but we overlook its importance because in our modern world, we often retreat into our screens for connection. Many of us find ourselves longing for something more, something as simple yet profound as a hug, a handshake, or even a friendly pat on the back. If you've ever felt this way, you're not alone. In fact, a lot of you seem to relate to our videos on four signs you're touch starved, not needy, and the surprising signs of touch starvation, which is why we made this video. Being touch starved is a common yet often misunderstood experience. So what can you do about it? Here's a guide to help you reconnect with your need for affection, according to experts. Understand your need for touch. The first step in dealing with touch starvation is acknowledging it. It's easy to dismiss this need as trivial or to convince yourself that you're being overly sensitive, but touch is a basic human need, just like food or water. Studies show that touch starvation causes our cortisol, the stress hormone, to spike, which may cause feelings of stress, irritability, loneliness, anxiety, and depression. On the other hand, Research found that physical contact can reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and release oxytocin, a hormone that promotes feelings of love and connection. If you're not sure, check out our video here, Four Signs You're Touch Starved, Not Needy. Create a touch-friendly environment. If you're touch starved, creating an environment that encourages healthy physical contact is essential. This doesn't mean forcing yourself into uncomfortable situations, but rather, finding ways to incorporate touch into your daily life. For example, engage in activities that naturally involve touch like yoga, dance, or massage therapy. These activities not only provide physical contact, but also promote relaxation and a sense of well-being. Another option is to adopt a pet. Cats, dogs, and even small animals like guinea pigs can offer comforting physical contact and companionship. Engage in self-touch. While it may sound unusual, engaging in self-touch can help alleviate the symptoms of touch starvation. Techniques like self-massage, brushing your skin with a soft object, or even wrapping yourself in a weighted blanket can provide a sense of comfort and security. These methods can stimulate the release of oxytocin, helping to reduce feelings of loneliness and stress. So find ways to self-soothe and show yourself physical affection. This can include gentle actions such as placing a hand on your heart or giving yourself a calming hug. Mindful practices like deep breathing and meditation can also enhance the effects of self-touch, allowing you to feel more connected to your body and emotions. Strengthen existing relationships. Sometimes the people we care about are more than willing to offer a comforting hug or a reassuring touch, but we might hesitate to ask. Strengthening your existing relationships can open the door to more physical affection. Start by being open about your needs. Share your feelings with trusted friends or family members. You might be surprised at how many people are willing to give you that much needed hug. Offering touch to others can also help satisfy your own need for physical contact. Join a community group or club. Social connection is a key aspect of human touch. And sometimes the best way to foster that connection is by joining a community group or club, whether it's a sports team, a book club, or a volunteer organization. Being part of a club can provide opportunities for physical interaction, like handshakes, high fives, or even a friendly shoulder pat. These interactions may seem small, but they can significantly impact your emotional well-being. Joining a community group not only helps you meet new people, but also fosters a sense of belonging reducing feelings of loneliness and touch starvation. Cultivate emotional intimacy. Touch starvation can often be deeply intertwined with a lack of emotional intimacy, especially in romantic relationships. If you're in a relationship and feeling touch starved, it's crucial to address both the physical and emotional aspects of your connection. Start by having an open conversation with your partner about your needs and desires when it comes to physical affection. Sometimes a lack of touch stems from unspoken fears, insecurities, or misunderstandings that can be resolved through honest communication. 
Cultivating emotional intimacy through sharing your thoughts, feelings, and vulnerabilities can create a stronger foundation for physical touch. This might involve setting aside quality time to reconnect, engaging in activities that bring you closer, or simply being more mindful about physical gestures like holding hands, cuddling, or kissing. Remember, emotional closeness often paves the way for physical affection, and addressing both can help you feel more fulfilled and connected in your romantic relationship. Being touch-starved isn't just about missing physical contact, it's about missing the connection and comfort that come with it. But the good news is you don't have to suffer in silence. By exploring these diverse strategies, you can begin to heal the deep-seated hunger for connection and find comfort in the most unexpected places. So how do you deal with being touch-starved? Share your insights in the comments down below. And if you found this video valuable, let us know with a like, share, and subscribe. We also cover similar topics like the surprising signs of touch starvation and six signs of emotional hunger. Thanks for watching. Till next time.